when I first, like my first thoughts of abortion was, oh, you're killing a child. That's wrong. Like there, there is still a life within there. And you could somehow argue that that in a way is murder of you killing a child. Then as I grew older and so forth, <clears throat> I now understand about women who get raped, sexual abuse, um, molestation, molestation. You're in a, it's, you were in a fling and it's, it's didn't really happen. And then it just some, it just somehow just ended up happening and everything. So there are many situations where like, as a mother, you don't feel as if you are really in the right place to really raise this child. And foster care and so forth can be pretty dodgy. <laughs> so you just feel like, if no, I don't want to give my child up to foster. So that was like, you know what? I understand it from the woman's point of view. Then we, I went further as where I am right now is it's still the woman's body. <laughs> it is still within the woman's body. So your argument, because again, Let's look at both sides because there's no point to just like focus on one thing. Let's look at both sides. The other side says we are fighting for a life that's there. Mm -hmm. And we believe that as the moment we can find a heartbeat within your body, that is a separate life from yours. So it may be physically inside your, your body, but that is still a life that we are protecting. And we have to give everyone the chance of this beautiful thing called life because life is a billion to one chance. The fact that I am me, you read the fact that we are here right now is a billion trillion to one. If you just look at this, yeah, like the, the the perfect position of the Earth away from the Sun, and and like like how like we the fact that we even are here, like us existing, the Earth as it is is already yeah. a billion to one. But, 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 so that's right. Pregnancy. Do you know how crazy that is? The fact that we are because you know there are times where I just pause. Like guys, if you just pause and say, "Whoa, like what is this?" Like you just look at your hands. You look at me, even talking to you right now. This whole device and everything and we are right now on a spinning ball in the middle of just this mass of blackness with stars in it it's a miracle it's insane it's, yeah, it's, it's, insane. it's, it's almost unfathomable when you actually look at it like this is why i like i hate to bring like always bring religion back into this but this is why i, yeah. I think that like this there is an ultimate creator because when you look at the universe you look at everything around you well, people like, say it's a big it's, bang people say that it's even, a big even, bang man but even with the big bang you could look up the god particles you could look up there's a lot of things that are unexplainable there's a lot of things that like it, it's, there's perfect unison like even Randomness. math the fact like that like, when you look at math the math was discovered not created like it's it's the, the universe there's a there's a there's a whole uh like everything is connected there's almost it's, it's almost it, I, I, it's hard to explain but like it's it's very great, and when we talk about life, mm. you are right. Life is sacred. Life is beautiful. But I personally believe, like when it comes to abortion, you are right. There are very nuanced situations. But I personally believe there is a cutoff point. I believe mm. that. Let's say, for example, like if you're past like the two months mark, or like forty days or fifty days mark, I don't like. I find it unethical to re I have to, to to really kill that baby because at that point it, it's formulated. Like it's it's you're 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 it's it's it's, it's, it's essentially became a human even being. even if it's even if it's still in the woman's body well i do believe it's up to the woman like i'll give you an example hh i will never me personally mm. i will never make the decision to have an abortion never i will never tell a woman to have an abortion or do this i don't want to have it but, I will never. but then but, but you're saying though that if a woman does have that abortion after that cuts of points for you you would say that's okay i can't force you to to do i can't force you not to have the abortion but if you have the abortion i view that what you're doing is morally wrong and on uh, yes 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 i will i will give my opinion but that's mm. all it is it's her body you're absolutely right she's the one that's going to carry it at the end of the day i do understand why abortion has become such a controversial topic nowadays because let's be honest like society the family structure is deteriorated like Men are not being upstanding. Men will go, will they'll sleep around with anybody. They have mm. no regard for these women. They have no like they just want to get their dick wet, and then they'll just mm. they'll come inside. They'll have the the woman will be pregnant. And then this woman is like, well, I can't afford this baby. This guy's not answering. He's not be he's not standing up for like you know for for his responsibilities. Mm. Um, I I I don't want to bring a baby into poverty. I don't want to bring. I don't want to end my life. I don't think I could support this baby. And she's gonna make a, a decision. And the worst part is like abortions are even bad on the female body because if you if you have an abortion, it, it lessens your likelihood of, of having a baby in the future. Yeah, yeah. Um it's not it's not it's not good for oh, abortion. No, no, I mean, but, but, but it's like it's so crazy because you have like two guys talking about abortion, so it would be good if like there was a woman here, but it is it is what it is. It is what it is. Look, it is what it is. But my thing though is um it's like it is it is for me it's it should still be the woman's choice and so forth but i think the dilemma here is when does life start 
that's the key thing. Because I, because I think we were, we were doing this when I was doing um, philosophy back in school. And I think the kind of notion and argument here is that when does life actually begin? When do you actually say, mm. okay, this is the moment in time that this is a life? Because if you now chat when life be be begins, the moment you, you take that away, that can constitute as murder. So people can say, well, no, life begins the moment that that baby leaves the womb. But then people will argue that if you're, if there's a heart, see, now my thing is like, does life start at consciousness? So, so is there any point within that, when the baby is still within the womb, that that baby is conscious? Because the argument is that once consciousness exists, that's a life. And by you taking the life away, people can say, oh, that's just the same as you stabbing a baby <laughs> or you suffocating a baby. Mm. So it's, it's, I mean, it's tricky because they have I mean, said that, like, at a point, you know, there's a point where, okay, I don't know how many months it is, where they say, oh, no, look, we can feel a heart beat here. That, that's, there's, yeah. there's a life form here, and there's, and there's a life form that wants to get us. So there isn't really a difference between, oh, this life form is now away from your body, so, so therefore it's now a life because it has now left in, it's now left the woman's body, but it's not a life form when it is within the woman's body. No, the argument is that once we feel a heart beat, which consists to consciousness, that's a life. So now, by yeah. you aborting, you're murdering. Is the, yeah, is, is, I mean, it's no, no, no. It's absolutely murder. It's, if there's a heartbeat, it's, it is murder. Like I think like, that's not like I like look late stage abortions, mm. like late stage abortions, like after like the five month mark, six yeah. month mark. I yeah. think that's crazy. I don't. Uh, that's not an abortion. That's murder. Look, I'm mm. gonna you talk about abortion. Mm. Okay, so okay, now we get it real. Now we get yeah, no, no. I, I'm being real. honest. Like, I'm being honest. I, I don't. I don't. I don't believe now in it because it's not gonna take you five months to realize that you 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 don't want this baby. Right, that that is just cruel. Like because that baby, like, can it can feel pain? You did kill it. You did kill it. If you're talking about, let's say, abortion, let's say within man, the first, it's, it's, it's real, man. That's how it's because real. That's H, real. because H, because H, look, I can understand if it's like the first two or three months, and like you don't know you're pregnant. Sometimes women just don't know they're pregnant, mm. right? Because you, you have certain situations where women will not even get a belly when she's pregnant. Yeah, 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 yeah. There are situations. So if you're talking about like in the first early on. You don't know you're pregnant. You know, out of that, you make that decision right now that you. And then, to, yeah, that's ready. that's down to you because you you're not you're not harming anything. Exactly. But if you're like five six months and you know you're pregnant and like you're you're and you decide to have that abortion, like that is, I feel like that's that's inhumane. And, and, and listen, people can say like, oh, uh, this is a man talking. You don't have no 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 no. no, 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 no this is this no. Is, you can do it if you if you if the country allows you to do it. No 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 do no, it, no, no, I, no You're, no, you're no, a murderer. You see, you see, no, you see, red. No, no. See, that's where I'm gonna come in and say. No, because it's because you see what I don't like is oh no no it's two men talking and you don't I, I can still do whatever I, I I can do whatever I want with my body and so forth no no we are using logic here mm -hmm. and logic states if this thing is a life that has a heart and consciousness whether it's within your body or not that can be constituted as murder because <laughs> so basically so you're saying so if as long as a life is in my body. That isn't a separate life. That is still me. Because mm -hmm. that's the argument. So your, your argument is, let's say it's a late stage abortion and you have the abortion. You're saying that, no, I didn't kill anyone. I just killed something that was just within me because it's still in my body. Mm, no, because it's, it, yes, it's within your body, but it's still a separate entity within your body. And as a separate entity, it should still be treated as something that is still separate from you. So, it, that's a very important distinction because if it's a late stage abortion where there is life that has formulated within that body and you go within an abortion, you're killing something, man. Yeah, yeah, and no, this, yeah. is, it's, this is not like, oh, men. No, it's not about men and, talking and men shouldn't be talking about a woman's body. No. And here's, here's my Sorry. problem with, that, with these excuses. Here's my problem with these excuses as well. Like, is that we right now live in an era and a generation uh, in, in a century where you have plan B. You have condoms, you have contraceptives, you have birth mm. control, you have so many nets like tools you could pull out. You know how how to how pregnancy happens. You, you see, as an adult, because because yeah. I've got to say, like, see, one, 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 if we're bringing in rape mm. and molestation, I mean, yeah, I, I'm not touching those. Do? Those, those, are the, the, yes, that's the, the, the like woman is entitled. You know, like, woman is fully entitled to because to do yeah, she's because, she's yeah. not she's not she had no choice. Her her choice was robbed from her, and that yeah. I'm I'm what, the, the scenarios that me and you are talking about are between two consenting adults who are irresponsible who who, who chose to 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 have sex when clearly you're not you're you're not ready.
if you don't know if you don't know, if you're not responsible with it because like HH, HH, like, like, like honestly let's be honest like, like plan b costs like 20 30 what dollars like canadian like 20 30 dollars you can go buy that shit and, and just give it to the woman like if you if you can't pull out mm. if you can't buy a condom if you can't you don't want like wearing a condom buy a plan b and just give it to that there. no no because when i think okay look look red let's let's let, no, no, let's 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 go real so you have sex it's a one-night stand mm-hmm Maybe you were drunk. Maybe you, it was just like a fling or whatsoever. Mm-hmm. And then you then, and then she she now has the baby, and the guy was like, uh, "It was just a fling. I am not prepared to be a father or a dad or so forth." And the woman obviously wanted thinking to be a dad, and you consciously, yes, it was a fling or a one I think, but you consciously had sex. But now the guy's like, "No, it was just a one night fling. I had no idea." Post not clarity. There was no, and then, boy, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, there, there is no agreements that we're, we're not even a couple. We're not even a freaking couple. So once that, if that baby, so sorry, if that child now ends up, sorry, if that lady now ends up having an abortion now, that I'm, I'm going to look at you away because my thing is that you can't apply those symptoms of like, oh no, it's the woman's body. The woman can can do anything she wants. Eh. Even if a life hasn't formed yet, unless it's an early abortion, I'm going to feel away. I'm going to feel away because you consciously had sex, did all you had to do. Now a baby is now being formulated and so forth. And you've now aborted due to your mistake. So I'm going to look at you. So, so for me, not all cases are the same. You, you can't lump that in with a woman who was raped or molested. Sorry, you know, is that is that beeping? From yeah, 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 yeah. I can hear the beep. Yeah, all right. So, so I think I think Red Red, red is trying to get his little Foninsky. It's good for for for, for Foninsky, man. But um, yeah, man. Look, man. It's um. Wait, 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 wait. wait. That was an, yeah. uh, your alarm. We're good, we're good. Yeah, it's just I, honesty, I just found this. I, I changed my uh, the layout of my bedroom, so I found this alarm under my bed, and oh. I just checked it out. So I'm guessing it just went off. For oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but um, but no, but yes. Yeah, so, so, so I mean, so that's where I'm at. Is like someone that has an abortion, consciously heading into a fling or a one night stand, is the same as somebody who has an abortion that was raped. Yeah, but it's not the same. It's not. I, I don't like. I said like when it comes to like having flings, that's that goes into the conversation of the deter- deterioration of society and the lack of uh, of of vetting, right? Like as a woman, how do you let just some bum just come and come inside you and and just do that to you? No, you see, no, 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 no. Let's not have a simple pin for because no, I'm not trying to blame women for this. I'm saying like it's you don't know the kind of circumstances that have no, no. accord for these things to happen it's and it's so it's forth like, like no but like we we yeah we, we as a society right like we we've, we've reached the point where we have so many options right you could just download mm-hmm. a dating app right now on tinder and just mm-hmm. go like this like just swipe 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 swipe, swipe you know like mm-hmm. swipe 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 yeah, yeah, like, yeah. and mm-hmm. have like 500 and eventually get like one match it's a numbers game and then out of that yeah. one match you can go but you're not vetting you're just desperate and you're just going for whatever is available mm-hmm. whatever is going to say yes to you mm-hmm. and there's consequences to these kind of these easy paths mm-hmm. like you, we have to evolve with our technology, right? So right now, with this technology that we have, like we have to decide to, like, you know what? I want to vet this person. I'll give you an example. When I say I'm going out with a girl, I swear to God, I teach. Like I've been in the positions where the girl just wants me to touch her, just wants me to like, the, like touch her or kiss her and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't. I don't do that stuff. What I do is I stay back. I talk to this girl. I'll have I'll have conversations. I'll get to know her. I'll I'll make sure that like I want her. Like I know who this person is. And once I feel like this, me and this person are compatible, and I feel like I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with it. I can spend my, the rest of my life with this person. I will mm. then approach it. I don't just sleep with anybody. I don't like to sleep around. Casual sex is not even good sex. You're you're, you're uncomfortable. You're awkward. You don't know what the person is. You don't know anything. Like the person doesn't even know how to please you because every person mm. has like certain kinks and stuff that you're gonna be too shy to talk to with somebody you just got to know. And like you don't like. And again, like you guys might not like, you might just get her pregnant. Think of all the men, like these athletes that get these women pregnant, and then these women end up just like leaving them, just want the money, or just want the cash, or just want like they they end up fighting with them, arguing, just toxic. Mm. It's because of like there's no vetting. Like, why are people in a rush to get into relationships? Why are people in a rush to to just sleep around? Why are people pussies, pussy? If you trust me, when you find one girl that you actually like and you're actually you want to be with and you actually care for her, sex with her is going to be infinitely better. 
than casual sex with like 20, 30 girls. No matter how hot the girl is. No, Reddy, you're putting your mind, your character on the world. This is the the whole thing about the world is that it takes all sorts to make the world (laughs) different strokes for different folks. And people have different upbringing. Some people may not even be religious. Some people may, may have grown up in a home without any parents. So some people would have are coming from different backgrounds. But the, it's not religion because I'll tell you because even before like even, like this this mindset that I have is based on mm. my experience that I've, I've I've noticed from like from because I did go through a, a bit of a whole phase back in the day mm. uh, after a, a breakup. I did go through a, a whole phase where I, I started going mm. out with women and it, I just it it was just a meaningless life. It was not satisfactory. It was not no, the no, but, same. But, I, I think, no, but but my thing though is that. The notion of people just having sex for sake of having sex is going to happen. You have sex addicts. Mm-hmm. You have mm-hmm. people who are like, I just enjoy having sex. Like, it's just something that I'm just really into. So, and there's just some people who maybe are in a relationship and they just need this whole sex thing just to get out some frust- frustration or so forth. That's why they say one of the oldest professions in all of human history are prostitutes. That's like the oldest pro- from the beginning. At the beginning of time, there's always been sex has always been sold. That's just probably the that's probably the oldest profession that, that that exists. So that's never gonna go away. Ever gonna go away. So rather than saying that, hey man, you shouldn't have any casual sex. You shouldn't have any one night stands. What should happen is, if that happens, you've got to not deal with the consequences. 